Hi friends, we are going to do a little what I eat in a day. So I had an early morning training session with a personal training client this morning at 7.30. So we got up, I got it going. I haven't had any breakfast yet. I do have a honey citrus mint tea from Starbucks if you haven't had it, it's delicious. I do have laundry going. It's a little after 10, so I'm just about to make us some breakfast. So I'll take you through what I eat in a day. So we're gonna have some eggs with some leeks, a little bit of toast on the side. That's gonna kickstart the day. I've got some other things going on throughout the day, so I will take you through my various snacks. I'm also gonna take you through lunch and dinner. So let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, so breakfast is done. Um, usually, I love my eggs scrambled. Mike likes them sunny side up. It's not really my thing. I'm a scrambled girl all the way, so I usually end up making two different styles of eggs for us in the morning, and I usually make us breakfast. Um, but we ran out of oats. Sometimes we'll usually do oats in the morning, oats with a little dash of maple syrup or honey. Um, Mike likes his super plain. And sometimes if I'm in the mood, I'll caramelize a few bananas. If I have some ripe bananas that are going bad and I can't finish them all, because I usually have a banana a day, especially if I'm going to the gym, um, I'll caramelize some bananas, sprinkle some uh, cinnamon on top, and I'll add that into mine as well. But we ran out of oats, so I do have to do some grocery shopping later today, which I will take you on a little trip for, and I'll show you my haul after I do some grocery shopping. But that's breakfast, standard breakfast when we have eggs. I love a good breakfast Sammy so that's my go-to I do have some content that I have to finish up um, to post on YouTube I'm gonna be posting a leg day workout that I filmed the other day so I'm just finishing up content on that and then I will be dropping it later today so also check that out make sure you're subscribed so you get all of my workouts and yeah I'm gonna edit some content. I do have to head to the gym. I also am a group fitness trainer at an F45. So depending on what my schedule is like, sometimes I have super early mornings. I'll coach either the morning classes, the noon or the evening classes, depending on what my day is like. So I'm gonna be doing that. So I will catch you later. <laughs> to the grocery store got a little bit of a grocery haul happening here so i just picked up some more free range extra large organic eggs as you know we like eggs in the morning also got some blackberries big on the berries organic brown rice i'm a rice girl i love rice bowls i find them really quick and easy to put together just with some veggies and a protein if i'm in a bind so um I ran out of rice so i grabbed some more extra brown rice uh, some organic lean ground turkey. I'm planning on making some tacos tonight, and I usually prefer using lean ground turkey and preferably organic turkey if I can find it. Uh, and then I just put together a little bit of my own seasoning. I picked up some more seal cut oats. Uh, really great in the morning for breakfast. I was off of oats for a little bit. Um, just digestion wise, uh, they weren't sitting with me too well. So I took a couple years off of eating oats and I just recently got back into them this year actually. So oats in the morning, a little bit of maple syrup, maybe some caramelized bananas, really good. Some organic honey crisp apples, nice and small, super sweet. Some organic bananas, two avocados. Uh, funny fact, I don't love avocados when they're sliced and they're plain. But an avocado toast for me is like guacamole style. Super mashed, red onion, 
tomato, salt and pepper, topped with a little bit of the everything bagel seasoning on top and chef's kiss. It's absolutely amazing. And that's pretty much it for the grocery haul. Super short and sweet today. Just kind of grab the essentials. Uh, it's about 2.45, almost three o'clock. I do have an evening class at 45 then coaching tonight um, at 5.45. So I'm going to make a little bit of a light lunch. I do have some leftover rainbow trout that I made a few nights ago. I made a couple extra pieces just so we can have some in the fridge to warm up for leftovers. So I think I'm going to make a really quick cucumber and tomato salad with a little bit of red onion and feta. And I'm going to sizzle up some of the leftover trout and top it with my salad. I don't want to eat too much um, just because I don't have room for the tacos tonight. I always keep some protein bars in my bags as well. I'll show you guys that uh, once I get to the studio, what I like as a snack when I'm in between classes, if I'm running around or if I'm on the go, the kind of protein bars that I keep in my purse. But yeah, let's whip up some tomato cucumber salad and some leftover trout. And there we have it. We've got a little tomato cucumber salad, got some trout on top, all that good stuff. I like to chop up my trout a little bit as I'm reheating it, um, just to get a good sear everywhere. And I also like to season it when I cook it originally with um, maple syrup, a little bit of salt and pepper, and uh, chili flakes on top. Just kind of keep it simple a little bit. The maple syrup is really nice as it bakes in the oven. And on my salad, tomato, cucumber, I put a little bit of feta. I drizzled with some pumpkin seed oil, a little bit of spritz of balsamic vinegar, not too much, salt and pepper. And I also like to put some dried oregano on it as well. And there's some red onions in there as well. So a light little lunch before we get into tonight's tacos. All right, two of my favorite protein bars that I keep in my bag are builders and the alani new fit snacks so i know there are definitely some mixed reviews about the alani new fit snacks i'm all for the munchies flavor this is probably hands down the best flavor it tastes like a twix mixed with an o henry and honestly the macros really are not terrible on the back for a protein bar this is the protein bar that you eat when you want something a little sweet, a little salty, and you want more of a treat, and you don't want a true protein bar, because realistically, protein bars don't taste that great. Um, half the time, you just eat them because you have to. But a good alternative um, that is packed with protein, this has got 20 grams of protein per bar, um, Builder's Protein Bar. This is the chocolate peanut butter flavor. It's pretty thick. It's got like a little cookie layer in the inside, covered in chocolate and all that other good stuff. And again, macros are pretty good here per bar. So these are the two that I will always have in my bag as a snack when I'm on the road, running errands in my purse or definitely in my gym bag. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend both of these guys. All right, we're getting a little late night dinner action in here. It's like almost 8 p.m. We, Mike and I went for a little bit of a walk. Um, it was so nice outside, so we just wanna take advantage of the nice warm evenings before the weather turns. But we had a nice little walk, it's now 8 p.m. We usually eat a little bit earlier, but I'm gonna crush some lean ground organic turkey tacos. Mike's not down for the tacos, but that's fine because I usually like to meal prep some stuff so we can have tacos tomorrow. Um, but I do have another piece of leftover trout and I make these really, really bomb trout, fully loaded salads. And I think he's feeling that. So I'm gonna make him a trout salad. I'm gonna cook up the tacos. And we'll see how it goes. Can you get me a tissue? I'm crying over here. I bought the wrong onions. I normally buy sweet onions. And this time around, I bought the Spanish onions. And I haven't cried cutting onions in a very long time. So we're going to omit this part of the cooking tutorial. Okay, I think we're good. Dinner served, we've got our little corn tortilla taco. They're minis, come in a pack of six. Some shredded organic romaine lettuce on the bottom. I used organic extra lean ground turkey. 
some sauteed onions and I ended up seasoning it with the Clubhouse Tex-Mex seasoning. It's really great, super delicious, low sodium. It's a great alternative to the regular um, prepackaged seasonings that you find at the grocery store. I'm also gonna top it with some tomatoes as well. And then Mike's fully loaded salad. We've got same shredded organic romaine lettuce, similar base to what I had for lunch today. So tomatoes, cucumbers, feta, red onions, some salt and pepper, some dried oregano. I threw in some peppers in there for him because he loves peppers too. Added in some croutons for a little extra crunch. And then that's the same trout that I had for lunch this morning, left over, drizzled and baked with some maple syrup, salt and pepper, and chili flakes as well. So that's that. Okay, so dinner's done and dusted. We're settling in, we're gonna watch a, a show. But as a snack, I have a huge sweet tooth. I love ice cream, I love gelato. So guys, we're big snackers and I'm always on the hunt to find really delicious, low-cal, health-conscious snacks. So instead of tubs of ice cream, I bought these ice cream bars, they're blue menu. I know you can't tell from the packaging or the link conspicuous, but I'm gonna link it here. And they're blue menu frozen yogurt, Greek frozen yogurt bars, which I love. They're 100 calories, they're one to two grams of fat max. They have delicious flavors, salted caramel is one of my favorite, and I'm trying this new raspberry swirl. But you feel like you get the decadence and the creaminess of ice cream. Um, when really, it's a, a bit of a healthier the alternative. Of Oreo ice cream? Don't come for me like that, babe. That's rude. A bit of a situation on our hands, and that's my cue to go. Anyways, we'll follow up with another What I Eat in a Day part two. Make sure you're liked and subscribed so you check that one out as well. Bye, guys.